poke one hole in a condom and he'll do whatever I say forever. <laughs> I mean, we learned that from last time. Fuck you. Oh, you mean like all three of us? Yeah, I could be down for that. Do you want me to ask Glip next time we do it? Lip is a romantic at heart, and he just hasn't found uh, the right girl yet. You know, he he thought he loved Karen, and I think he still does love Karen pretty deeply. But once you've committed yourself to something like that, it's hard to kind of flip it around and, and, and back away. And, and Lip's so committed to loving Karen, no matter what she does, he can't seem to shake it. Is Mandy inside? Yeah. So that's why Ian had me wait out here? I'll be my guess. Are you happy? Sure. While he might, you know, have multiple sex partners, he's, he's, he's really just hoping and, and wishing that Karen will one day figure her shit out and, and, and learn how to accept him. Hey, just the man I was hoping to see. I can't see you anymore. I'm with Mandy now. Some of us have been in a situation where we're in a relationship that, at the end of the day, has no hope. Um, and I think that, to me, is, is a lipped relationship with Karen. She's good for me, and you're not. If you came back here for me, I think you made a mistake. He is in love with her. And no matter what he tells himself about how awful of a person she is and the, the horrible things she's done, there's a part of him that will always love her. And there's a hopelessness to that. Yeah. That's all. And he, I think he recognizes that. I think he's aware that this is a relationship that is, that is doomed, that is only going to lead uh, to heartache down the road. And yet, you know, he can't really resist. I think he cares about Mandy greatly. I think he wants to protect her. I think he wants to be her savior in a way. No one's ever been as good to me as you have. You're better than this neighborhood. You're better than anyone I've ever met. And you deserve to get out. For Lip, all of his scenes this season are with Mandy, pretty much. She cares for Lip very much, and, and I don't think Lip is ready to jump into a relationship. Actually, we're good here, too. You can go home. You know what? Have her stick around. I gotta hit the alibi in 10 minutes anyway. I can handle it. I'm good to stay. No, please, just go home, Mandy. To your own fucking house for once. He actually treats her kind of similarly to the way that Karen treated him. He's this hurt person, and he's just hurting her as well. I think Mandy's a character who could go down a dark road or be lifted up into a different life, and I think he's hoping to be that kind of person who can help her. But I don't believe he loves her the way he loves Karen. And so it's a little bit of a messy triangle because Mandy truly, truly cares about Lip, and Lip truly, truly cares about her. But at the end of the day, his heart belongs to Karen. What's all that about? You, Karen, the unfathomable male soul. 